Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today is Grade 6, Unit 6, Lesson 7, Practice Problems Review. A crew has paved three-fourths of a mile of road. If they've completed 50% of the work, how long is the road they're paving? They've paved, if we look at a picture here, three-fourths of a mile. That's half of the work, so that means they have another half to go which would be another three-fourths. Well, I can add those two numbers together and get six-fourths, simplified to be three-halves, which is one and a half miles. Question two, 40% of x is 35. Write an equation that shows the relationship of 40% x and 35. Well, 40% as a decimal 0 0.40 or simply 0 0.4, 40 hundredths or 4 tenths. We're going to take that 4 tenths, because it's simpler, times x, and that's going to equal the 35. Now use your equation to find x. Show your reasoning. Well, if I have 4 tenths x equals 35, if I divide by 4 tenths on both sides, this causes that just to become 1 as it cancels out. And so now we're looking at x equals 35 divided by 4 tenths. Well, that's going to be the same thing as 350 divided by 4 if I multiply both those by 10. And so if I take 350 and divide by 4. 4 goes into 35 about 8 times. Subtract 32, you're left with 30. Goes in 7 times. Subtract that 28, and you get 2. You need to go to the tenths place now. Bring down the 0. 4 goes into 20 five times, and now we have our zero, and so x is going to equal 87 and 5 tenths. Question three. Priya has completed nine exam questions. This is 60% of the questions on the exam. A, write an equation to represent the situation. Explain the meaning of any variables you use. Well, 60% is equal to 0 0.60, which is the same thing as 0 0.6, so 60 hundredths and 6 tenths. We can take 6 tenths times the total number of questions is going to be 9. In other words, Q are the total questions on the exam. So if I take 60% times the total questions, I get the nine exam questions that she's finished. And so now, to solve this, we'll have 6 tenths Q equals 9. We'll divide by 6 tenths on both sides. 6 tenths divided by 6 tenths is 1. And we're left with Q, whoops, we're left with Q equals whatever 9 divided by 6 tenths is. Now if I multiply both those by 10, I get 90 divided by 6. So let's solve that. 90 divided by 6. Well, 6 goes into 9 one time. Subtract the 6, you're left with 3 and a 0. 6 goes into 35 times. We have 15. That's it. It stopped. So Q equals 15. So there are 15 questions on this exam. Question 4. 
Answer each question. Show your reasoning. 20% of A is 11. What is A? Well, 20%, once again, is the same thing as 20 hundredths, which is the same thing as 2 tenths. So we are looking at the equation here. 2 tenths times A equals 11. And so if I divide by 2 tenths on both sides, we end up with A equals whatever 11 divided by 2 tenths is. That's the same thing if I multiply by 10 as 110 divided by 2. And if I take 110 and divide it by 2, 2 goes into 11 5 times, subtract away the 10. You're left with 10, goes in another 5 times, and you have a remainder of 0. So that means A is going to equal 55. Now what about B? It says 75% of B is 12. What is B? As I draw these lines across, 75% is the same thing as 75 hundredths. So 75 hundredths times B is equal to 12. So if I divide by 75 hundredths on both sides, This becomes 1 and cancels out, and so we're going to be left with B equals whatever 12 divided by 75 hundredths is. Well, this time if I multiply both those by 100, 1,200 divided by 75 is what we're looking for here. And so 1,200 divided by 75 75 goes into 120 one time. Subtract away the 75, we're left with 450. And 75 actually goes into 450 six times. So subtract the 450, get the remainder of 0. And so B equals 16. 80% of C is 20. So 80 hundredths is the same thing as 8 tenths. What is C? Well, 8 tenths of C is 20. Divide by 8 tenths on both sides. And so we're looking at 20 divided by 8 tenths. Multiply both by 10. You get 200 divided by 8. 200 divided by 8 is what we're looking for. 8 goes into 20 one time. Nope, it doesn't. Try that again. Goes in two times. Subtract away the 16. Left with 4 and a 0. 8 goes into 40 five times. And so you end up with 25. C equals 25. 200%. So 2.00, or just 2, is 200%. Of D is 18. What is D? So 2D equals 18. Easiest question so far. Divide by 2 on both sides. This cancels out. 2 divided by 2 is 1. And now you're left with D equals 9. Question 5. For the question, 2n minus 3 equals 7. What is the variable? What is the coefficient? Which of these is a solution? Well, the variable is, well, n. The coefficient is 2. And which of these is a solution? We can go ahead and check a bunch of these, even, even mentally, right? So if we have 2 times something, minus 3 equaling 7. If you put in the 2, 2 times 2 is 4, minus 3 is 1. 
So that's not 7. You put in the 3. 2 times 3 is 6. Minus 3 is 3, so that's not 7. You put in the 5. 2 times 5 is 10. Minus 3 is 7, so 5 is a solution. If you were to put in 7, 2 times 7 is 14, minus 3 is 11. That's not going to work. You put an N, and that's not going to work either. Now, which of these is a solution to 1 eighth equals 2 fifths times X? If I have 1 eighth equals 2 fifths times X. One of the ways I can solve this is to divide by 2 fifths on both sides, if I don't want to just guess and check, because 2 fifths divided by 2 fifths is 1. So we're left with 1 eighth divided by 2 fifths equals x. And if we multiply by the reciprocal by keep, change, flip, we end up with 1 times 5 is 5, 8 times 2 is 16, 5 sixteenths is going to equal the x. And so which of these are our solution? Well, simply b, 5 sixteenths. In our last lesson, or last question on this lesson, find the quotients. 1a, we have 9 tenths, hundredths, thousandths, divided by 1 thousandth. Well, if we multiply both those by 1,000, you know, multiplying the numbers by the same thing does not change our division problem, we end up with 9 divided by 1. I think we can all do that. That simply equals 9. What about B? We have 9 hundredths divided by 2 hundredths. Same concept here. If I multiply both by 1,000, we get 9 divided by 2, which this time is 4 and a half. In C, we end up with, let's see, tenths, hundredths, thousands, 45 ten thousands divided by one thousandth. And so if we multiply both these by a thousand, it's that second number that we don't want to have a decimal in, we end up with four and a half divided by one. Well, anything divided by one is just that number, so our solution once again is four and a half. And lastly now with D, we have the 45,000 or 10,000 divided by two thousandths. Once again, multiply both these by a thousand. And so we end up with four and a half divided by two, which might as well write this out just to make sure. Four and a half divided by two, 2 goes into 4 twice, left with 5, goes in 2 more times, subtract that 4, you get 1, bring down the 0, goes in 5 times, subtract the 10, you get 0. So our solution here is 2 and 25 hundredths. So that is it for this lesson and this homework review. Good luck.